Ain't no side of the story. She wasn't in the room. So how can she have a side of the story? The only side of the story she gonna ever have is the one that I stood in front of her and him and told her, this man is touching me. So what side of the story you ever gonna have? Tell your side of the story to the LAPD. Tell your, that is, that is not a mother, just so you know, a mother protects her children. So Faith, y'all just letting mommy get on here and lie, huh? Y'all letting y'all mom get on here and lie? Y'all letting y'all mom get on here and lie like I was the only one who got touched? Because it wasn't just me. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not the only sister he tried to touch. Come on now. I don't act nothing like my mom because I would never let nobody touch my kids, not my sons or my daughters. I'm telling you, these people that I'm going to block, do not, I ain't no unblocking nobody from today. Because this is not that this is for sale for play play i don't got no motherfucking feelings in my heart and if you tag my mom in this live without telling her to go to the police department i'm gonna block you and you're not gonna get unblocked do not tag her in my live go get on her live I see my sisters in here. I don't see them saying nothing, though. I know that's y'all mama. I get it. I know that's y'all mama. I know that's then that that's fine. I forgave her, too. But don't, hot, don't tell the nieces and the nephews I'm lying. Don't start trying to get people to feel like I'm, I'm, not, like I'm something that I'm not. Just because I gave you a pass did not give you a pass to not try to discredit what I've been through. Don't play with me with what I've been through. She don't need to set it up. She need to go down to the police department and tell them that I told her when I was 12 years old that my stepdad, her husband, was touching me and my sisters and she did nothing. They will automatically prosecute her and have her try to show where she learned that both sisters gave her a report and she ignored it. That's all she needs to do. She don't need nothing else but to go down there and tell the prosecutor just like them women went down there and told for their daughters. You see all these women that went down there and told on R. Kelly for their daughters? That's all she got to do. Me and my sister was underage. We were under the California statute. So it is still, she can easily go down there and tell the prosecutors exactly what was said. They will call us and tell us to come in and take a lie detector test because it's been so long. And they will have her take one as well. So all she got to do is go down there and tell them that two of her daughters told her that her husband was violating them as children and she did not do nothing. And then when I told her, she bust me in my face and made my whole fucking nose and mouth bleed, tried to take me to get a donut, told me she was going to take me to the hospital and took me to get a donut instead and the same person that did this is the same person that knocked her teeth out her mouth now go tell them that she don't need me to go down there with her i will follow up when they call me she can't never get on my live until she is ready to be held accountable for what she did forgave her but she running around here telling the grandkids telling the nieces and nephews that's fucking with me that i lied on her now go down there and tell them the truth they 
need to prosecute both of them. She watched two minors get child molested, and she did nothing. They're going to prosecute both of them. That's why she's not going to go down there. She's going to sit on this live and lie to the devil come get her. Instead of her getting on here and saying, I'm sorry that, uh, that I didn't do nothing to protect y'all. That I was too busy trying to get high and too busy trying to kick it with my man and say, fuck y'all. That's what she need to go down there and tell them. She ain't in denial. She ain't in denial. Somebody said she got on here and said, she got on here and said, now did he touch you or didn't he touch you? Girl, what is you saying? You talking about me or my sister? Don't try to play dumb. Now, I wouldn't even brought it to the internet, but since she want to come to the internet, she want to come to the internet and, t and tell my nephew something about me, and talk about me on the internet, I would have never brought her name up. But she obviously want her name to be brought up. And sometimes the Lord do mysterious things for people when the time run out. So that's why I tell on my own self. That's why I don't, I don't, I tell it all my business myself. If I did something wrong, I tell it. Okay? That's why I tell it. So a motherfucker can't never blackmail me with shit. That's why I tell it. And whoa, baby, because it wasn't just me. So don't try to play, don't try to play like you ain't know. Now you did apologize to my sister, but you ain't apologized to me. You ain't never apologized to me, but you did apologize to my sister. You could have you could have took this whole family out of that misery that you put us in, but nope, you still engaging in it. You still over here playing in my face, like you ain't did nothing, girl. Like you can't be prosecuted, girl, cause you can, cause you know you can't pass that lie detector test. You know you can't. Instead of getting on here telling young mothers. Even if you're on drugs, give your kids up to somebody else so don't nobody violate your kids while you're on drugs. Now, I'm going to give you the drug pass. I will give you the drug pass. But you wasn't high when I told you. And you wasn't high when my sister told you. And you wasn't high when you apologized to my sister and I forgot to apologize to me. Now, just because my sister waited 30 years to tell you what happened to her. Honey, I told you at 12 because I ain't never scared. I was born unscared. And I would have handled that man before he knocked your teeth out if you'd have gave me five more minutes. But they put me out of junior high school for carrying a butcher knife to high school to junior high. I got kicked out of eighth grade for being ready, staying ready, carrying a butcher knife to eighth grade just in case your nigga pull up on me. Eighth grade. I'm kicked out of eighth grade. I haven't talked to him either. He looking he's looking for a reason to get unblocked. He's not getting unblocked either. I got kicked out of eighth grade. Go look at my record, y'all. Eighth grade carrying a butcher knife to school. Knowing I didn't need no butcher knife for no girls, because I was rocking bitches shit in eighth grade. Rocking shit. I know it's a lot of bitches out here with twisted up faces and noses from that anger that my mama and stepdaddy put in me. I was letting that shit off on y'all. Now, if you want to come and talk to me about it, and I, and I apologize to y'all, I will. If everybody that I done fucked up in life, whether I done hit you with a hammer, a bat, whatever I done did to you in my life, I don't care if it was a dude or a female, if I done rocked your shit, I will apologize. I've been through a lot. I will apologize to any one of y'all that want to pull up that's disfigured or feeling some type of way that felt like I should have paid for it. That was not me. That was my trauma. I will apologize to y'all. So if my, if my people was out there that I fucked over in any type of way with these hands or whatever, <laughs> let me know. We can holler at each other. We can apologize. If you want to get the revenge, whatever you want to do, we can do. That was, I'm telling you.
I know, I know it's a lot of y'all. I know it is because I just used to run into shit every day. But that wasn't me. That was my pain and my trauma because I really wanted to do somebody else that deserved it. I got kicked out of eighth grade because I went to pull my books out of my backpack and cling, 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 a kitchen knife falls on the goddamn classroom floor, y'all. Eighth grade. I'm expelled. Because I'm thinking this ninja going to pull up at the schoolhouse and just try to take my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready on, at 12. I'm going to go about to put a nigga down. At 12. Ask her, why did I get kicked out of eighth grade? There wasn't a person that could jump me or see me in, from eighth grade. Now, I know y'all know. From California to all Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio. Nobody. I ain't never ever took an L in my life and I done fought a lot of y'all ghetto, ghetto bees over y'all dope dealing boyfriends because I didn't have nobody to help pay for my school clothes. So I know. I've been through a lot and I, and I apologize to anybody that I wronged. But that wasn't my fault and these people that caused this pain still has not been held accountable. And they still running around here acting like they ain't did shit and I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how that's possible. Who gets kicked out of eighth grade for carrying a kitchen knife in a backpack? You going you gonna to answer that, Ma? Because I know you're listening. A answer that. I know that's some, that man somewhere right now mad at you. Mad. Because I wasn't even going to do him this dirty. I been forgave, been forgot. You over here telling the grandkids now that I'm a liar. Telling my kids I'm a liar. Telling my kids that done went through all this trauma with me I'm a liar? You're going to rot in hell. You're going to rot in hell for that. I hope you get some type of closure with the Lord before your time come because this what you doing? Mm-mm. No teeth since she was 20 tell them and my mama had the most beautiful teeth in the world ask my mama your grandmama since i'm lying tell her to tell you what happened to her teeth let's start the let's start with the teeth Cause that motherfucker, I'm going to show you what he did. I'm going to show y'all with the man that she get. This her teeth. That's how her teeth look on the motherfucking floor. That's my mama. That's my mama teeth. That's how her face look just like that. While the man standing over her. The motherfucker that's just dug in my ass. This how you left your fucking teeth on the floor like this. That's her teeth, y'all, scrambling all over the goddamn floor. Now, she all the way over there, and her motherfucking teeth is right here. Why the fuck is she talking? That could have been your tongue, too. Now, take that demonstration. Because that's how the fuck I would have did him. If that was my teeth. I wouldn't have protected him for nothing. Okay, I wouldn't protect nobody that left my fucking teeth on the floor like that. This y'all is my therapy, bitch. If you don't like to be my therapist, get off. Y'all my therapy. I've decided it from here on out. You motherfuckers is my therapy. Thank you for sitting through my demonstration. Now, you heard my mama, Selena, over there talking about I'm a liar. You heard her. Didn't you hear her on my, my nephew phone? You heard her. Okay. So when y'all see her and she, talk, and she talk like this, and she hold her mouth like this, ask her why she hold her mouth like this and talk like this. 
Carlissa, what are you talking about? You liar, you little liar. Carlissa, you're a liar. Open your mouth when you're talking to me. I deserve that much. Open your fucking mouth when you're talking to me, mama. Now you over here trying to protect folks. Who done gave you permission to enter the chat and protect anyone? You don't let a whole man with psoriasis, and I'm going to post what they look like. So everybody at your church and at his church knows that y'all still running around here with this little secret about Dickie's daughters. I'm going to tell y'all church members about what y'all did to Dickie's daughters. When you leave here, your legacy is going to be you and your child molesting boyfriend got off on little girls that belonged to someone else. We are Dickie's daughters. We was not yours. You had no rights. None whatsoever. You picked the right daughter. I'm not my sister. I'm not my sister. My sister's a sweet little Gemini. I forgive you, Mom. You're my bestie. Girl, no. <laughs> my sister didn't get expelled from eighth grade. She kept her truth. She hid her secret. Okay, she ate herself into 300 pounds because of you. No, ma'am. I like my shit to come out. I don't, leave, I don't leave it in. You drove my sister overweight at 14, 300 and something pounds. You did that to her. Shame on you. What type of mother? That's why I ain't no kind of mama. Because my mama wasn't no kind of mama. I ain't no kind of mama, right? But I bet you can't say one motherfucking thing that didn't nobody ever put their hands on none of my kids with no belt no shoe, no nothing, and they did not ever child molest my kids because they would not be here. They would not be here. Oh, yeah, he a deacon now, y'all. He a deacon now. And I'm sorry, Mr. Deacon, your wife, your wife, <laughs> after all these years, brought these skeletons up and didn't come on here and say she's sorry. So, yep, now you ain't, now your, now your congregation gonna know what type of deacon you is. Because you could have told the congregation, I'm sorry, if I be, if I be a pastor next year, y'all, this is the truth, Bree, you was my witness. If I be a pastor next year, I will tell y'all motherfuckers everything I did first before I let y'all come into my church. I will tell y'all I'm a sinner. I used to hump all the kids in the neighborhood because I was child molested and I liked humping. Okay, I was a child molested, so I, yep, I used to hump all the kids. If your kids spent the night over my house, they got humped. I will tell all my business first so y'all don't have no secrets against me. If I ever cheated on my husband, that one time I did cheat on my husband, I got pregnant. I didn't know if it was his baby or the man's baby, so I got an abortion. Yes, I did. I will tell y'all all my motherfucking business. And then about two months later, I got pregnant again with Jonathan. I will tell y'all all my business. Why? Because I'm not scared of nobody. I'm not scared of y'all knowing my business. I'm not scared of knowing y'all knowing what the fuck I did right or wrong. Because guess what? Can't none of y'all motherfuckers get me in the head of it, and none of y'all can't take me out. And mama, that's how you supposed to be. You a Leo like me. You ain't supposed to never be scared. You're supposed to stand your ground and say, girl, I was high. I don't give a fuck. Because that's what I would have said. I was high and give that much a fuck about y'all because y'all look like y'all daddy and y'all daddy got on my nerve. And uh, that's what it was. You should have gave that motherfucker some pussy for me. Shit. Get over it. That's how I would have handled it. Nah, you going to hop on here and tell these people <laughs> that you will go down and take a lie detector test knowing you telling a motherfucking lie. Knowing you telling a motherfucking lie, and when you telling a lie, you not only hurting me, but you hurting my sister who ate herself into obesity by the time she was 14 years old because your man was doing the same thing to her that he did to me. And see, that's really what's fucking you up. That's really what's fucking you up is because it didn't just happen to me. And you apologized to her, but you weren't going to apologize to me. You should have apologized to me because I'm the one with the mouth. 
she might have gave you a pass. You ain't getting no pass out of me when you come from me talking about I'm a liar. All your whole church, when you go to church on Sunday, going to look at you like, I know you ain't in here. I know you ain't coming up in here every Sunday acting like you ain't did nothing. That them kids that we watching on the internet from, the, from two generations ain't fucked up because of you. Girl, I, and you know what I would do when I got to church? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I would do. Bitch, sister, so-and-so, slide the fuck on down <laughs> so I can finish getting my praise and worship because, yep, I did. I fucked up. That's what I would do at the church. Bet I wouldn't let nobody stop me from coming in there about nothing I done did. Girl, if you don't get your black ass and scoot on down and give me some room on this bench, <laughs> I'm here for a reason. See, that's what's wrong with y'all today. Y'all too worrying about... <laughs> How people, how you look to people and how they gonna make you look. No, no, no. Yep, Jonathan, just like his mama, he don't give a fuck neither. Yep, that's what it is. That's what it's gonna be. Sorry, take it or leave it. It's free. Thank you, Florida. I see you, girl. Cause all she had to do was all she had to do was leave me alone. I wasn't bothering her. She mad because I'm making my nephew famous. Girl, what that got to do with you? And ask my sister. The sad part about it is I was gonna tithe my tithes to her and my dad 50-50, even though she don't deserve shit. I was gonna tithe my tithes 50-50 between her and my dad. Girl, you are not the church. I am not giving you shit. You are not the church. Girl, yeah, I'm not the only one he asked he dug in. Come on now. You know they don't just do it to one person. You know it ain't never just one. Come on now. Child molesters don't ever just child molest one person. So if it's any other stepdaughters out there that wants to come out the woodwork, that you've been scared, that you've been hiding, that you feel some type of way, I got you, sis. Talk your shit. And if you need me to pull up, I'll pull up. I ain't scared of them motherfuckers. Not none of them. So y'all gonna have a, a nice day. And um, remember, keep, keep the men's out y'all house. They ain't they kids, daddy. They don't give a fuck about y'all kids. Don't let them pretend like they do. Don't nobody give a fuck about y'all kids but y'all. That's the lesson of the day. <laughs>